Well, members of the Little Rock Nine are talking about education in Arkansas. This is part of several events honoring the 66th anniversary of the historic desegregation of the Little Rock Central High School. September 1957, under the escort of federal troops, nine African American students changed history by becoming the first to integrate into Little Rock Central High School. Uh, this was just days after the Arkansas governor ordered the National Guard to block their entrance. Uh, 4029's Phil Reed has their take on the state of schooling in Arkansas and around the country. The Little Rock Nine talked about their experiences and answered several questions from people at the events. One person asked them if Arkansas is heading in the right direction with the LEARNS Act. We talked about things like that. It is an intent to have an ill-informed population so that demagogues can do whatever they want. Minnie Jean Brown Tricky says if America took time to look at the Little Rock desegregation crisis, some of the problems happening now could be resolved. She says the story touches on components of government, course, and persistence of the human spirit. While Dr. Terrence Roberts is accusing some states of using a fictional narrative that will be put in place instead of the truth, he says Arkansas is not alone in making changes to education. It seems to be there is a movement afoot around the country to restrict not only AP courses in African American studies, but almost any other thing that you can might think of that might lead to students developing a more thorough understanding of what's truly going on around them. Members of the Little Rock Nine saying young people banding together and assessing what is going on around them. If they do that, they can bring change. In the studio, Phil Reed, 4029 News.